Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to uh, assess Sunrise Accounting based on Chapter 5 of the Fit Small Business Case Study, um, Fixed Assets and Long-Term Debt. Uh, it's going to be a very short video because uh, the software will not do much with fixed assets, which is typical of almost all bookkeeping software. Um, okay, so the case study uh, on February 10th, uh, the business purchased a job trailer for $12,000 from Tina's Trailers by borrowing $12,000 from Bank One. So uh, the journal entry here is we need to debit a, the uh, fixed asset account for the job trailer and we want to credit a note payable account for $12,000. Um, ideally, we would like the program to have a fixed asset management component or feature um, rather I mean so any software you'll be able to create an account and record the transaction the question is whether it has a fixed asset manager that'll help you track fixed assets um, and uh, uh, depreciate the fixed assets so Sunrise doesn't have any sort of fixed asset manager most accounting software doesn't it's kind of a special add-on to software um, but we'll do the best we can here so can probably record the purchase under first off let's make sure we have the proper accounts so let's go to accounting uh, trial balance and let's uh, actually where's our I'd like to go to our chart of accounts There we go. So under banking, that's kind of odd. Here's our chart of accounts. Let's see if we have a fixed asset account. Yes, we do. Equipment. So we'll go ahead and we'll record it to this equipment account. And then um, our liability, we'll put it to this long-term notes payable account. Okay, so the accounts are there. Let's go ahead and enter the transaction. So um, let's see, we could do it perhaps from expenses. Um, but we're not actually paying anything. I think the better way to do it is going to be let's do it let's just do a journal entry for it so let's go to uh, so we can enter journal entries either in the transactions tab with new transactions or recently sunrise gave us this new journal so let's use this new journal so this is a, a journal entry um, it was what February 10th yes So we are going to debit our okay these categories are in alphabetical order which is annoying <laughs> instead of putting them in a typical accounting order I'm going to debit equipment for twelve thousand dollars and the credit entry then will go to the long-term liability account. Okay, let's approve it. Okay, now let's look at our balance sheet. Equipment I guess we already had some equipment. I guess we're going to have to look at the detail here. There we go. Job trailer of $12,000. Okay, so we were able to record that. Let's look at our note payable. Oh, 
yeah I don't like that when you back back up it doesn't get put you back to the balance sheet it puts you into the chart of accounts long-term note payable 12,000 okay so we were able to make a journal entry to record the asset um, but that's not exactly what we we're looking for but that's what actually is probably going to be the answer in most bookkeeping software so let's answer the rubric here record the job trailer as a fixed asset so yes so we were able to get it into an account called fixed assets um, view a list of fixed assets no we were not able to do that assign an asset assign a number to the asset nope record the note payable as a long-term payable yes uh, set up the job trailer to depreciate again so that's something a nice fixed asset manager will allow you to do calculate depreciation automatically record it sunrise will not um, can you set up a separate depreciation for taxes nope um, can you view or print the depreciation schedule nope okay and then this is for the note payable um, if you're familiar with like a mortgage, right, when you make payments, you have to split them between principal and interest. Um, some programs will let you set up an amortization schedule so that when you make a payment, it automatically separates it. Sunrise does not do anything like that. Um, view or print it, we cannot. Um, any other fixed asset accounting options? Nope. And can you record the sale of the fixed asset? So obviously we could record it, you know, with a journal entry. Um, but there is no option to let us to record the fixed asset. Um, so go back to the case study, see if there's anything else we need to look at in the program. Um, if possible, set up an uh, amortization schedule. Also gives us the depreciation amount we want to set up, note payable details. But again, none of this matters in Sunrise because we can't do any of it. Okay, and so that's it. So. Uh, Sunrise really does nothing for fixed assets, but that's not unusual. Uh, it's a free program, and even most of the paid programs don't do anything for fixed assets. So uh, that's it for today.